is already dark like this. Let's check what time is it. It's 8.06. Not very dark yet, but yeah, the sun just set by. Yo, good afternoon guys. We are going home now. Today I finished at uh, 2 o'clock. Yeah, 2 05 when I sign out. It was uh, raining this morning when I come to work. I was wearing my uh, rain jacket and rain trouser. And this time it is like this. It's a little humid. Uh, today is the first day that I am using this uh, camera with the uh, yeah, additional uh, cover on the microphone like additional dead cut because yesterday I just transferred the video from here to my computer and the re I realized that one is not enough I mean the dead cut that is coming from the road wireless go is not working very well it's still uh, there is still a wind noise we are still not going to do some pull up and chin up yeah, I'm still feeling lazy I don't know when I am coming back to do that again before leaving the kitchen the last thing that I did is the the middle of, uh, of our uh, general manager yeah usually he is asking me or the other guys to do a meal for him and if they ask me I usually do just uh, yeah the same like what I do in my uh, yeah, well, the same like my food in the house. Uh, I mean, uh, not in the recipe. So like this, uh, before leaving, I did just a uh, uh, chili, a lot of chili, and then uh, prawn bees. Prawn bees is the you know the skin of the prawn. Uh, boiled it with a lot of water, uh, and and yeah, strain it and take the water again. So it tastes like a prawn. That's the beast. So we have, we always have that. Uh, so I basically used that, and then I just added some vegetable and one uh, one uh, slice of fish, and so it's like a soup. And that's what I give to Mr. to the general manager. And later on he comes back and he is asking for rice. Yeah, good thing we have uh, extra rice in the chiller. It is low tide at the moment. There are some people in there. Yeah, the water is very calm. Actually, the temperature is right. Like what I said, a little humid, but there is a wind if you are on the bike. If you are here in Australia, probably are you are doing the same like the most people here. You maybe are walking your dog or uh, doing some kind of uh, water activity. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> Relaxing in the beach. You know, life will be different if you are here. Yeah, because you know, every places have their own uh, characteristic that is going to change the experience <laughs> I am actually going to miss all these things yeah everything in here I am going to miss it once I go back to the Philippines or go to another place yeah life here is amazing I never mentioned to you but uh, my visa is actually going to expire soon yeah <laughs> yeah my visa is going to expire soon i am actually a little bit worried now because uh, yeah i'm not ready to go back to the philippines or leave australia look at that there is one lorry yeah i'm not ready uh, that is because of the covid everyone has a good plan but it was ruined by the COVID. Yeah, that's uh, including me. Yeah. So, you know, I'm not prepared. I'm not ready to go back to the Philippines or go somewhere else. Because of the current uh, situation. 
and the option I have now is to apply for uh, 186 visa the afternoon but it's all right whatever happened I'm good to that it is uh, God willing and you know the situation is a little bit complicated because as most of you know because of this COVID many people uh, lost their job so a lot of people are looking for a job and of course the priority to get a job to have a job are those uh, locals and actually that is one of the rules of the immigration yeah a person i mean a foreign worker can only apply for a particular job if uh, there is no locals that is applying for that job yeah but you know this day a lot of uh, people are looking for a job so a little bit complicated that is my situation these days we are going home now i am now hungry there are some bikes in here nice maybe they are also traveler or bike parker you know to the Asian store maybe they have something uh, that I like okay this is what I got this is a uh, soy sauce uh, some crackers and shrimp paste the Filipino one okay we are home it's already 3 30 I thought this one is the Filipino one. The Filipino one is called Owishi and this one is a uh, Nongshim shrimp flavored cracker. Very much the same. And the one from the Philippines is also much uh, tastier than this one. And this one is uh, from Korea. Yeah, made in Korea. I'm not sure about the taste, but I hope it's good. Yo, good afternoon, guys. Yeah, we are going home now. We are a little bit rushing because uh, I'm going to meet uh, Mr. Mike. If you remember, Mr. Mike is the guy that gave me the prices scooper. <laughs> yeah, the one that I was using in the house that is coming from Mr. Mike. Yeah, he noticed in my video that I don't have a rice scooper. That is why he gave me that. It is very windy this time and I think uh, it is noisy in this uh, camera. Yeah, this is going to be the first time that I am using this uh, homemade dead cut of this microphone in the windy days. Because if you remember, I lost the GoPro yeah, dead cut of this, the foam one. Already 2.10 when I left the workplace. I should be in his hotel by uh, uh, 2.30. That is what we agreed. The time now is maybe 2.15. And we are now here in the Port Stephen Motel. And the time now is... Uh, 2.28 so I am two minutes early okay I just met uh, Mr. Mike and his brother Charles and yeah they gave me this I don't know what is this he said that I might use this in the upcoming video looks like a tripod or something yeah tripod usually this long but I don't know 
yeah, I just put it there. It's good to have something like this. And I can put it like that. Yeah, thank you, Mr. Mike and Charles. I am going home now. Oh, Mr. Mike said that there is a $1 coffee in that uh, coals. Yeah, the same like uh, 7 Eleven. Because you know, there is no 7 Eleven in here, here in Nelson Bay. When I was in Sydney, I always go to 7 Eleven to get a cup of coffee. Just $1.